Welcome back to a new video of my first person uh, tutorial melee series. So in the last part we uh, created this cool weapons way here. It looks cool, you can change uh, the values a little bit if you want more weapons way or uh, uh, less weapons way. So let's, um, so let's start and um, I want to start now with the inventory. So let's go into our character first. And first, we can delete those two uh, those two blueprints here. You will need them. Let's go into the character and look if we have any errors. No. All right. Okay. So let's close the weapons way function. And um, yeah. So what we now do is uh, is so. Let's start by um, put these variables in a category. So let's say weapon sway category. And let's move them all into this category called weapon sway. Okay, compile and save. And now we can start with the inventory. So let's go into first person blueprints. Let's create another folder and it's called inventory. And let's right click blueprint class and actor component let's call these the inventory component bp so open this up and yeah so this is a component that we can add here under the add and then inventory component bp so we add this and now it's in our character so let's set up this inventory component <clears throat> so um, the first thing we want to add is a variable called inventory and this is so we leave this as a boolean because we have to create another variable so let's right click blueprints structure let's call this the inventory slot structure Struck, Junge, Struck, Chair. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's add some variables here. The first one will be the name. This is a name, um, or let's say a string. Then the thumbnail, if you want a thumbnail. For this, we say texture 2D. Another variable, the state, the overlay state, and maybe a description. But let's put this description under the name. And then the item class this is um, okay so let's leave this as a actor here all right so um oh yeah the description is also a string okay so now here the inventory will be the inventory slot com uh, slot structure let's compile and save and here on the right side we set this from single to array and now we have an array here so we can add more slots or delete them all and yeah <clears throat> so let's create another variable and call this max slots and this is an integer and this is not an array, this is a single variable. And let's go into the, let's create another function called this init. And there we say, um, loop, for loop, let's say for loop. Um, the first index is zero and the last index 
ist, er ist Max Slots. Okay. So then, um, we grab our inventory, say add and loop body and add items. No. Um, let's say index. No, okay, so let's say add. Um, okay, so then let's. Um, okay, <clears throat> then have a look. So basically, when we say max slots three, then we have three slots in our inventory. So let's call this in the event begin play here, compile and save. So you can't see we have a new slots here, but when we play, we will have some slots here. Okay, so um, then let's do some other things. So let's create some new functions, call this get slot. The input will be the slot integer then get your inventory oops um get a, a copy from this slot and then we add a return node and an out the output will be oh let's delete this output let's just move this and add a pin the output okay compile and save and yeah so then let's say set slot give your inventory again set array element and input will be the slot again and this here, the item and compile and save. Okay, then um, Okay, so let's let's leave this here and uh, then let's say Let's create another graph here. Let's call this the player input graph. And let's say keyboard one. Let's paste this another time here. Keyboard one, keyboard two, keyboard three. On keyboard one, we grab the inventory component, get slot. The slot number will be zero because um, the array starts with the uh, with zero when we create a new one. So zero is basically one. And on the output, we will split it and say set overlay state. And here on the other ones. Also, just set the slot to one and two. And on three, we set the slot to two. So now we set, uh, we're setting the overlay state from the advanced locomotion system. So from this blue man here. So now let's, um, let's grab our inventory component and just, um, Add here under the inventory some slots. Or we can basically, we don't really need the initialize function. So let's delete this because it's not, not that important because we can just create our slots in the character itself. And let's say for the index zero, we say rifle 
for the one we say default and for the last one we say binoculars just to, to check if it's working so now let's press one you see our character will switch into the weapon so the rifle two it's will be it will be zero our default and on the last one we get our binocular binoculars from the advanced locomotion system okay so um now what we want to do is we want to do something with the overlay state here so we want that um, when we change our overlay state to with sword our character or our arms will equip the sword and also our blue man here the ALS will also go into another state so let's say in the inventory for the index 0 we say just default and the, for the index 1 we say uh, or let's say on everything default and let's create a new one so let's go to advanced locomotion system data whoops data uh, enums and overlay state so let's create a new one let's call this uh, the katana save and then let's uh, change in our character index 1 to katana here okay so okay we can see something i don't know so our enemy man will stop playing because i think we get some errors here oh no okay there was just a bug i don't know so um now let's go into the yeah let's go into the overlay layer overlay states and let's just grab um, let's grab the rifle rename katana let's compile uh, and yeah so let's um uh, for the rule, let's say get overlay state is equal to katana. Let's copy this and let's do another arrow here from katana to default here, uh, like so. And just paste this and say not boolean and compile and save. So now when, when we press 2, our character will be will go into the rifle states. So let's hide our uh, arms because we only want to affect uh, this on our legs. So let's say here, hide bone by name on the mesh. The bone name will be clavicle L. And clavicle R. Compile and save. Let's play and yeah, now you can see we can't see our arms anymore. When we press 2 our character will switch into this one. To this animation here. Okay so now let's uh, let's Go into the character and grab your arms and look for the first person enemy blueprint. And now we're doing the same thing here. So let's go into the FP melee states, delete this one, add a new state and call this a change. Then add a new one from there. Um, no, let's say Katana first. Let's create another variable, call this the overlay state. 
the variable will also be overlay ALS overlay state compile save and let's go into the rule and say is equal overlay state is equal to katana and from katana to change is not katana then go into the katana state and add your idle animation here compile and save sorry compile and save and yeah let's save everything here save all and let's have a look so now you can see we don't have any first person animations when i press 2 uh, you see we go into the rifle state but our arms won't go into the state because we have to update this overlay state variable in our anim blueprint so here we already have some variables that we are updating so let's grab the character reference again get overlay state and then grab your overlay state here and set this and set this overlay state to the overlay state from the character. Compile and save and now when we're playing and press 2 we will equip our sword and also change the overlay state here. Okay so I think this should be fine for the inventory part 1 so I think in the next part we will go on with this and also in the future we will add some equip animations and unequip animations and attack and block and everything so yeah this was the first part of the inventory uh yeah inventory part of the first person melee series so yeah see the see you in the next part and i think we're done here so have a good day and bye bye